hey guys hello everyone and welcome to the channel so in case if you are aware about this already and you must be following news from the past few days you must be aware about the neat scam which is going on uh, in case if you are not let me just tell you in short that uh, the neat results were announced by nta in the past like few days before and since the result were announced there were a lot of questions which was being raised over nta considering the fact that there are some grace marks given to the students and on what basis they have given great grace marks nobody knows and they have not explained also then uh, like students have got 720 marks out of 720 so that's like full marks okay uh, like and there are 67 students which have got that marks and there are many students from the same centers who have got this type of score so uh, that is the whole story going on and i'm not going to cover each and everything because you might find a lot many videos related to that on the internet but i just want to let you know okay and this is something alarming because why is it why we are talking about that we are why we are talking about neat over here that's because the agency which is conducting this exam that is national Ten testing agency nta is the same agency which is going to conduct your exam your csi net exam all right now the question is that whether you can trust nta or not so if you are aware about it and if you are following csi net from the past few years you must be aware that in 2017 CSIR, like earlier CSIR used to conduct this exam, CSIR and UGC jointly used to conduct this exam, but later on they have given this, uh, like uh, all this responsibility to NTA and NTA does not only conduct CSIR net exam, but they also conduct various other exams like they conduct uh, like uh, exams like NEET, they conduct ITJ, they conduct uh, like um, uh, the exams for uh, UGCET, right? So all these like uh, exams are being conducted by NTA and there are many exams in all over India they are conducted by NTA that agency is basically made in such a way that it is responsible for conducting many various exams. Now the question is that ever since NTA has taken over this CSI net exam we'll just talk about that basically because ever since NTA has taken responsibility of conducting this exam uh, I don't remember any cycle or any exam which has went like uh, smoothly. Uh, like there were some issues either with the like in the initial days there were issue with the with the interface itself then with the centers the centers were given in random places the the maintenance was not good the infrastructure was not good people were not getting good computers if you are conducting a computer based test you should at least give a good working computer and it should not get shut down in between or the server should work properly at least throughout the exam the instruments, the, uh, the computers which have been given to the student, they should be able to handle the server load during that particular time. But uh, in the previous exams, like after every exam, I used to get comments from the student. I used to hear messages and I used to get, you know, emails from the student related to that, that sir, so and so happened on our center. The, the computer was not working or the system got shut down or uh, something like that the exam started in the late and the, the exam ended before so many things were there okay do let me know if you have given in the previous years of csi net exam and if you have also felt something like that so the question again comes that how a particular student can trust nta see the thing is why i'm making this video because there are comments from students i'm getting mail and i'm getting messages over my instagram related to this that whether our exam whether csi net exam is going to get affected because of this neat scam or this neat issue which is going on so i'm not that much sure about it because there is no proper information about it and nta is taking care of and they are defending themselves related to neat i don't know what they are going to take as a decision over there but as far as your csi net exam is concerned i don't think that it is going to get postponed or something and this is very crucial time you don't have much time for your exam okay you just have around 10 days and like that is very less this time is the time when you should be focused towards your studies you should be like studying your concept you should be like solving questions you should getting you should be getting prepared for the exam yeah i know it is alarming and it is sad that the exam uh, like things like this happen and keep happening uh, for nt exam like on the contrast if you see gate exam it has like people have not seen much issues with the gate exam it has been conducted very smoothly and people are happy with that okay but yeah we only can hope that nta learns from this because this time this neat scam or this neat issue is uh, like the whole india is 
asking questions and like students all over India because the number of students which give NEET exam is way more than the number of students which give any other CSR net or any other exam okay uh, so that me that made this issue whole big and probably NTA NT is going to learn something from that and like they are going to implement that for the other exams as well and they are going to conduct this CSR net and other exams smoothly I just hope and pray that the exam uh, like the interface the uh, center selection the maintenance and all the infrastructure which they provide for the exam because they are charging huge amount the fees of the form is not you know it's not cheap you have to pay a heavy amount when you fill the form where that amount goes that amount is taken to provide you a interface or to provide you a place where you can sit relax uh, like in a relaxed manner and give exam with all peace of your mind but uh, sadly it has not happened in past we just hope that this happens or this this thing gets cleared as soon as possible and in the upcoming exam you get a good experience with the exam but yeah uh, it's very difficult to trust nta for that but again i'm telling you that this is nothing which you should be worried about because if you will take tension of all these things then who is going to study right so the only motive of making this video was to let you guys informed about it that please don't get into all these things don't like don't think of that exam will post, get postponed or something if it will get postponed we will let you know and you will get notifications and other things but there is very 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 less chances that the exam is going to get postponed okay so be prepared with the dates which you are given with for the exam and just focus on your preparation just focus on your studies all these things these scam these like cases and all the other things will be taken care by us will be taken care by uh, like there are people which are taking care of that so you don't have to worry about that okay if something like that happens we will be there with you so for now just keep preparing for your exam and do let me know in the comment section if you have any other queries mm -hmm. we have already started aptitude series so you can watch those series and you can prepare for your aptitude part if you have already prepared for your subject part okay also we have launched our aptitude series on our all about chemistry app where we are providing a lot many questions based upon topic wise so that you can prepare yourself for that particular if you want more questions from topics and you want solutions also of them they are there on the course which is question bank on aptitude part for csr net exam so you can watch or you can enroll into that particular course link is there in the description of this video that's all from my side for this particular video thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one till then have a great day bye bye take care